Okay, what is up everybody, and today we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be playing Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a carp tutorial. Now, this is, for all carps in the game, this will generally work. There is maybe one or two exceptions, but if you just want to get the mirror carp, common carp, koi carp, and the ghost carp, stuff like that, this will work. I'm going to be focusing on Valtze and in particular the first tournament as this is a good place for beginners to start. You get 750 XP and 1000 TP if you win. You get 500 XP and 700 TP for second place and 250 XP and 500 TP for third place but generally in this tournament you should always be placing first. But before we get into that I will very quickly go Actually, why don't we start, because it is pretty easy to win, even if I quickly go over the equipment. So we're going to just go with whatever tackle box you have set up for your carp. I just set this one up for the default one, and then we're just going to load up the tournament. Okay, now once we're in here, I would avoid using these spots and these bottom three spots. I really love this one and this one. They just work fantastic. So let's hope we can get lucky with E. And of course, we get put to the worst ones. Let's just try this one more time. And we're in a bad location, but we're gonna make it work. Obviously, I'd prefer this one, and I'd make sure you're always looking where there's more silk, but why don't we just go ahead and use this one? Got a very long cast, which usually I'd enjoy, but since we're using the beginner equipment, let me just quickly talk about that. So these two are the ones that you start with and I upgraded all three of these. I wouldn't recommend for this tournament you go to 50 pound line. I'd either use the 20 or the 14. I've won most of these tournaments with the 14 pound line and just recently upgraded to these two. But this is the first one I'd recommend you get. If you have a little bit more cash in game to spend, I would go straight away for this, but it's not your highest priority. If you're just starting with these three, I would just recommend going for this one, as I think it's the best one and fish see this one less. Then, in terms of your hooks, you start with these four 12 hook ones, one for every kind of different ground that you're gonna see, which is either gonna be weed, gravel, or silt. I like straight away like going to the twos or the fours uh, the twos only exist for silt and gravel if you want to go for the grassier areas i would recommend getting the four hook for these because that's going to be the biggest one and i both of these work really really good but you obviously need some cash to get these but i would start just save up to a four it's going to make it so that you can catch bigger for fish a lot faster now in terms of the actual bait go for tiger nuts first and then try a sweet corn double second as tiger nuts work the best in my opinion you don't have to straight away go for the 20 millimeter you can also go for the smaller sizes that they have i just found this out later so i straight away went up to the 20 ones 20 millimeter ones but you can just start with the 15 if that is more for you you can also get the pop-ups but I would get these first, this second, and then this third. Down here, for the spot rod, just put the tiger nuts that you're using in your general fishing rod as well, just so that you attract more fish. And then for this, I don't use this at all, so I just keep it at the standard thing. Now, first thing I'd recommend if you go to one of these spots, cast your line out as far as you can, and then just try and look where the closest silt, gravel, or whatever you're trying to fish right now is. So we can go straight here at 11 meters, that's gonna work fine. So we can just cast. I'll just press Q so we can get the shorter range and we can't even cast. We already have a fish biting. That won't even let me show you guys what you should do. But there is a little bit of a bug going on. If you accidentally do kind of like the, the bass, the way that you would catch a bass with like pulling back like this, outside of these bowies on the side, there is a little bug going on where it will register it as a new hook and then it's going to not count towards your towards your total weight that you can get. But you'll get a big sign saying out of bounds. It's like big, bright and yellow. You'll know when you happen that. So at that point, I would just press L or just over 
over put over go the tension limit for that fish just so that you break the line and can reset that straight away to catch a fish that is going to count towards your thing unless you know it's a trophy fish then i might try and still reel it in or if i'm really far in the lead which in this tournament really isn't that hard i usually get like 60 70 i even managed one 30 once but i was getting very lucky that time so you should get that pretty easily like winning these tournaments the bots usually only get around 35 36 kilograms so if you're over that you should be fine to win this tournament as well but another tip you saw me i tried catching the fish as close as possible to where i am standing i generally find that the animals spawn closer towards the middle oh not the middle closer towards where you're fishing they tend to spawn there more often than in the middle of the lake at least for carps and there we go got our first one at 18 kilograms so technically we already have half of what we need to win this tournament but now let me just try and show you what i actually am aiming for with having three lines out like this so i want to get one in the middle one to the left and then one sort of to the right just so that when i get my spot rod out all i have to do is place that almost exactly in the middle and then you'll very quickly see that you almost get all three of these rods to catch something and hopefully that will work out at the beginning you're obviously not going to get 18 kilogram fish straight away you're probably going to be more like the bots getting those six to nine kilogram fish but they're also easier to reel in so you should get more and more fish a lot more frequently and you should be able to win the tournament that way as well but at this point now it's just a little bit of a waiting game to see when an actual fish bites if after five minutes you don't get anything i would just reset my lines and put them a little bit further away or spread them a little bit wider so you have a wider surface area of where you can catch fish and look we already got the next one three is biting now this is my lucky one so hopefully it's something good and it doesn't look too bad i mean he looks pretty beefy so hopefully he's not a tiny fish and hopefully we don't get the bug where he's going to be clipping outside of the bowies for us and one already bit as well again so this is going great now we just have to try and reel them in for reeling in i just recommend always stay at the five just it it makes it easier for me i feel it makes it a lot smoother and it doesn't take as long for tension i usually try and stay anywhere between the light red and the medium red and if I'm really see that it's a, like a, not a big fish, I'll try and push it to where it's almost at that exclamation mark point. But I wouldn't do that because you will lose quite a lot of fish doing that at the beginning. So wait until you have better lines and a better rod to do that because otherwise you are going to lose quite a bit of fish which I had to learn the hard way at the beginning because I was trying to reel them in a little bit too aggressively. So be a bit patient, it can sometimes take 2-3 to three minutes to get one fish, but it is going to be worth it, especially if they're like 16 kilograms heavy. And one should be the other one, right? Yeah, see this one's already pretty far out. If they're kind of where the rocks are, try and reel them in to the outside, because otherwise you might have a little bit of a clipping issue where they will just get stuck on the rocks and you're gonna have to li get, let them get a little bit more of the line. So at that point what I'll do, I'll make the tension a lot lower so that I can swim away and go back in the free water where you can then reel it in normally again. So that's kind of my fix for that. If after two or three minutes nothing happens, just clip the line. Just get rid of the fish because you're wasting your time at that point and you're gonna be wasting precious time that you could use to try and reel in a really good fish or just catching more fish in general. Uh, we haven't had the out of bounds glitch yet, which is very good. So we might even get to 80 kilograms unless we don't have too much luck. But a ghost carp here, they're not very big. They can go up to like 12, 13 kilograms, but generally they are more small than big. 
Uh, let's cast out a little bit further. Just so that we can see our, see our spot rod a little bit better. I'll keep that sweet corn there. But I'll put these other two a little bit closer to each other. And then let's get the spot rod of the tiger nuts out again. And see what we can catch. And we got another bite on number three. Like I was saying, this is the lucky one. This always gets a fish every single time. And one's going off again as well. So... I mean, that should just prove to you guys that this is absolutely amazing. And we're even at one of the bad spots, for me at least. So, you can just imagine how good the other spots are that I recommended at the beginning when we were looking at the map. But he is taking his time. So maybe we got ourselves a big fish on here. Because he's not really too active, and that's usually a sign of either a trophy fish or something heavy but it's not a guarantee and he is getting more active now but he seems to be a little bit lost in terms of the idea of where he actually wants to go but is he just gonna go and I don't like when they go too deep because I like seeing what they're trying to do and in which direction they're trying to go and if they're going deep it's kind of hard to see where they want to go but Come on, get in here now. At this point though, I, I'm not worrying as well anymore about how fast I'm gonna reel these guys in because I'm at 44 kilograms now. It is gonna be very hard for the bots to try and beat that. So I basically have a thousand TP and the 750 XP in the bag at this point. I've never seen any bot go above 40 kilograms. So this is basically a guaranteed win. Yeah, this guy's taking a while to get in here. I, I'm also seeing this a little bit because I usually use my better rod, which is stronger, as well as my better reel. But 21.97, so a very big carp for that. Now let's just switch to rod number one. And try and get this guy in as well. If it's going to let me do that. Because he is already 60 meters out. So this could either take a little bit or he's going to just start bolting straight at us. And there's our fish, he's almost in now. Now we just got to do the close quarter fighting with him. But that should be fine because we already tired him out quite a bit out there at 60 meters. He was staying there for a little bit. And then he just decided to bolt straight towards us. So I feel like he should be pretty tired now. He's also not the biggest fish. But he's... Don't run away again. Stay here. Come on. Stay within the buoys so I can... There we go. Just come straight to the dock. Jeez. This fish does not want to cooperate. Uh, once we catch this guy though as well, I think I'm just gonna... Just sit here and wait to try and get the time off the clock. You can do something else at that point. You can go on your phone. You can, I don't know, play something else. Like, not play something else. And we lost that fish. Okay. That's what I was talking about with those rocks. They might get stuck in there, like, at these kind of things. And then if you pull too hard, you're just going to snap the line. He didn't seem like he was going to move anywhere. And... That's just kind of what will happen. You can get around it if you know that's a very big fish. What you can do is you can just let the tension. So with your, with either on the controller, with the D-pad pressing down, you can release some of that. Or with the mouse wheel, you can also just move that down to lower the tension and give that fish more breathing room with the line. So you can swim back out to the open water and then you can try moving him towards the middle of the lake again so that you can have a more like easier time catching him and he's not gonna get stuck on any rocks or any other kind of I don't want to say stop like stopping things but something where it could clip into or just get stuck on you just want to try and avoid that and you generally don't have that in the middle of the lake except for that big island over there so if they're going around the island don't be as aggressive but do we have something on too just nothing sadly but 
I'm just gonna wait, wait now the last five minutes because we should easily have this tournament in the bag. In five minutes, they're not gonna double their weight again at 25 kilograms, and they're not gonna get anywhere near 66, so I'm just gonna wait unless Tooth, like, gets any catch. I'm just gonna wait and then see our nice little trophy winning animation at the end. There we go now, first place, second place, and just under half of what we got in terms of weight. So, easy dub there, but got ourselves a nice trophy, 750 XP and 1000 cash, which we can use for the next tournament at Baxi. So, that might be the next tutorial on how to win that, but I don't know what you guys want to see next in terms of fishing sim. World Pro Tour as this was my first guide, my first video on it in general. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, remember to smash the like button and share it with your friends who might also need help in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Also, if you're new around here or you just haven't subscribed yet, definitely make sure to do so as it really would mean the world to me. And also hit the bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new content just like this. Have a good day, bye bye and peace.